Je m'appelle Papillon, a dit la petite fille. Bien, Eden. Okay, how do you say this word here? Close, Eden. It's un signe. Pronounce after me, un signe. Très bien, Eden, très bien. So, what does that word mean there? Un signe noir. See, now you'd think here, being surrounded by such a concentrated form of death, would be uncomfortable, scary, downright terrifying. It's not. It's kind of beautiful, poetic and that sort of shit. I, for one, at least find that bit of comfort in knowing that people are feeling just as terrible as I am. April 26th, 2060. The doctor's failed. Your mum's in pretty good hands here. It's been a tough day for the both of you today. November the 21st, 2015. I've um, received some faxes through from the hospital. Oh, right. Before I say anything, From what I've seen and with my experience in palliative care, I would say that things may have deteriorated more quickly than we thought. My defence. How sick is my mum? Your mum is a very sick lady. The thyroid gland, which is a butterfly shaped gland in your neck around here. <laughs> stopped functioning quite a while back. The tumour which we knew to be cancerous, but thought was treatable, now appears to be of a very aggressive nature. This means that it's growing more quickly than normal. Here I can see that there are dark shadows in the chest, and the possibility that it's spread to the liver, the spine, and quite potentially the brain. When will she die? December 22nd, 2009. Um, um, well, excuses for other things, but we really can't say. Hopefully, after the meeting with Dr. Beaumont tomorrow, we'll be able to give you and your mum a full prognosis. can't give a time, but from how aggressively the cancer has spread, I would say that we're talking in weeks rather than months. Your phone? Yeah. I think for today it might be best if you stay. Look, this might be what you do for a living, but I... 
you can just glide on to the next bed and tell the next one that they're going to snuff it. But that woman, she's my mum. She's my world. She was my world. Even solidified milk products have another week on my mum. Fucking old people. <laughs> I try not thinking about it, you know. Start forcing weird shit in my head that don't mean anything at all. Like staring at the carpet and thinking, it's really good they don't have a hard floor, it's just like being at home. All this while, some twat is letting your mum know that she hasn't got long left to live. Then you start thinking that perhaps if you saw those signs, we wouldn't be doing this right now. She's just getting old, you say, and start making excuses for every other crappy problem that just seems a nuisance. Oh, the budgies. Yeah, they're cool. Mm. Listen, do you fancy going out for a ciggy and an oromorph? <laughs> Sounds bloody good to me. Good when we know everything. What do you mean? Run the meeting, you know. Find out what's wrong, start my treatment. Get that out of the way. Then we can start being nanny. God, you know, I completely forgot what I was saying. Think I'm going funny in the head. Your hair looks really nice today, love. Thanks, Mum. Come in. Do you mind if we have a quick chat? No, it's um, fine, I've got some time. Do you remember yesterday when you spoke to me and my mum about a prognosis? 
but she doesn't remember any of it. It's like she's just jumped back in time to before that meeting even happened. But my mum, she's only got a few weeks left and, and and I can't be doing this every day. No, I understand. What do you feel, Patricia, that your mum remembers about our conversation yesterday? Oh, don't do that. You don't... She's telling... She's telling me all these things. She's she's talking about about being a granny and and her treatment and and cooking Christmas dinner. And I I've got this fucking thing, this baby inside me, and the only person that really loves it is her. If you feel it's too difficult, you know you don't exactly have to be in the room. When no, you tell me I have to. Here's where everything went deadly silent. No, perhaps candlelight swimmer's ear. You can hear the junk that's being said, but it just sounds as if it's coming from inside you instead of at you. I remember clutching on her hand as if I were just a toddler, my palms all sweaty. It was like seeing a car crash that you'd witnessed once before. Yet no matter how much this moment seemed familiar in being a future I saw yesterday, it still reduced me to tears. Like the ending of the notebook on repeat. I fucking hate that film. What? Eden, Eden, you're not going to believe this. Doctor's actually got the wrong results. I'm not dying. Oh, Mom! <laughs> December 22nd, 2009, 10 minutes past 10. We're all fated and dated, right? Point A to point B. Fucking rave the best before and anticipate the expiry. It's often sooner than you think. <laughs> 